Hi, I will walk you through the process of installing and configuring three Pluribus Fabric switches. Make sure that you have a Pluribus account and your switch service tags available. Once you have the service tags and the account, you use the service tag in order to activate, activate the license keys. Once that is done, you just uh, put the software on a USB stick on a file called own installer inserted in the switch. Make sure that the switch is connected to internet and then you're ready to, ready to run. Okay, 10 minutes later, it's time to configure your outer band management IP address as well as the in-band IP addresses used for the, for the Pluribus fabric. Once this is done, the switches are prepared and ready to be configured and to get the fabric configuration. Okay, now we are just three commands from just having one management point in the fabric. What you do is on the first switch or one of the switches, you create a fabric. And on the other two switches, what you will do is that you will do a fabric join command. The fabric management network or fabric network can be on the management port or in band. Usually you would do that on the management out of band network if it's available. And you also have a control network which is in band or over the management interface and a fabric advertisement network which is in band and over the management board. So we have created a fabric and we do fabric join on the second switch. Once that is done, the switches will start communicating or using the LLDP and information to build the fabric. Okay, the first node has joined the fabric and we can check that with fabric show. You can also write fabric, show fabric if you want, but it's definitely more efficient to use the commands in the reverse order. Let's see which nodes are on the fabric with fabric node show. We see that two nodes are in the fabric and we do a fabric join on the third node as well. And after this point, we will have ma one management point for the whole fabric. Okay, let's take a look if this node is in the fabric as well. And yes, it is. Now we can start closing the windows and do all the configuration from one management point. Okay, let's close some of the windows and let's start doing commands from one single management point. As you see, we now have the output from all the switches and we can start looking how they are connected. With the LLDP show, we'll see how the ports are connected in the fabric. We have port 49 and 53 con in Stockholm connected to port 49 and 53 in London. And we also have port 49 and 61 in New York and connected to London. And we have some external connections as well. Freeze the video if you want to check which ports are connected on London to New York. 
I'm using 1000 base T GBX so and these are 10 gig switches so let's uh, first change the port speed on port 1 in London and New York and you see I do switch London New York port config modify port 1 which will uh, apply then to port 1 in both switches and I change the speed to 1000 And now it's time to check the configuration with port configuration show. So I'll check the configuration on port 1. And as you see, there is a lot of information that I can look at. But let's format the output in a smart way. And a smart way would of course be to look at the port and on the port speed. And as you see, port 1 on these two switches are now 1 gig ports. Okay, I missed to add port 1, speed 1000, so I'll do that as well. We do LLDP show and we will see two additional switches, S60 and a Dell switch. The N3024 is connected on the management interface on the switch and it doesn't send any LLDP messages. That's why we don't see that switch. We have VLAN 25 configured on the S60 switch with the IP2525, 2525, and on the Dell switch we also have. VLAN 25. Let's do some configurations. As you see, the ping doesn't go through, which is pretty normal. And we'll start doing the configuration. And as you notice, we'll do the configuration only on one single switch. We use a command VLAN create. And the important part here is that we will use the scope fabric, which means that the VLAN with will be added in the whole fabric, not only on one local switch. Now the VLAN is created. Let's do a VLAN show to find on which ports this VLAN is configured. And it's configured as tagged on all ports on the switch. There are different options how to add the VLANs uh, on the ports depending on your what, what you want. You can choose, of course, to not to add the VLAN on any edge ports. We have a working ping. We have, of course, lost some packets as we started the ping before, but it is working. We have a VLAN 25 added to the fabric. With VLAN show, we can see that we have activity on port 1 in Stockholm, and we also have activity on port 3 in, uh, in New York. Now let's do a telnet from the S60 console switch to the Dell switch through the fabric. And here is here comes one of the really, really nice features that you can see all the connections in a fabric. First, let's take a look at the layer 2 tables. And the interesting part here is that you can see where the MAC address is through the whole fabric on with one command. You can see that 
25, 25, 25 is on port 1 in Stockholm and 26 is on port 3 in New York. And now let's also take a look if there is a connection. And we can look on the source IP, we can look at destination IP, or and we can see that we have an established connection between 25 and 26. It's time to configure a router. I've added VLAN 26 with IP 26, 26, 26, 26 on the switch Dell. So let's create the VLAN 26 in the fabric. That's done. The VLAN is now available in the whole fabric. And now it's time to configure the V-router. I configure the V-router on the switch Lon London and I call it Dell. And as you see here, it's so nice, no conf configuration mode or anything. You just do your configuration. You direct the commands to a specific switch or the whole fabric and it's done. So we now have a router in place and it's created. Of course, we have to create interfaces. We have to switch virtual, do the SVI, the switch virtual interface or VLAN interface, VLAN IP interface as uh, we call it on the normal Dell switches. So we add the router interfaces on the VLANs. Okay, the router interface on VLAN 25 is soon created with dot one. And let's do the same, VLAN 26, 26, 26, 26, dot one. So we have the router interfaces in place and let's try to see if the ping works, which it should definitely do. Let's try to ping from Dell to 25, 25.1. And let's also try 26, 26, 26.1, which should definitely work. And it does work.